Hey, Adventure Kid Sam, what are you up to? Oh, hi. I'm just playing with my cool critter called a Pring Mantis. Um, I'm having fun playing with this, but I'd rather go outside and catch some and learn about them in real life. Well, that sounds like we need to go on an adventure. Let's go! Hi, we're the Nature Nerds. My name is Carly, and this is Adventure Kid Sam. Hi, I'm Adventure Kid Sam. This show is all about nature and getting outside. And today's episode just so happens to be about insects. insects. Now, some people think that insects are scary, but they're really good for the environment. Um, we're here to teach you how cool insects are. We also want to identify some local insects or bugs that you might find in your own backyard. So that means we're going to have to go on another adventure. Are you ready, Adventure Kid Sam? Yeah! Let's do this. This is the Ebony Jewel Wing. Um, it's a native damselfly. Now, some people think that damselflies and dragonflies are the same, but they're actually not. I can tell you how um, to tell them apart. Damselflies, you see, while they're resting, they have their wings back, behind, and together. And when they're resting and not flying, dragonflies have them out to the side. I hope you have fun learning about them. And this is a carpenter bee. They are often mistaken for bumblebees, but there's a really easy way to tell the difference between the two. Carpenter bees have black, shiny abdomens. You can check the one out here in our video. While bumblebees have thick, dense fur covering their abdomens. Carpenter bees are great pollinators, and they get their name by how they make their nests, because they tunnel into wood or wooden structures. The males cannot hurt you whatsoever, and the females are not aggressive and typically don't sting either. You want to know what I got in here? Um, it's a sow bug. Now, some people think that sow bugs and pill bugs are the same, but they're actually not. Sow bugs run, and pill bugs, um, pill bugs, well, they curl up in a little ball, and that's how they got their name, Roly Poly. Um, so they cannot bite you, pinch you, or do any harm or sting you. They are just little runners and curl, and they just curl up and run. So, and they kind of remind me of armadillos because they have um, plates on the back. And I hope you have fun learning about them. Make sure you put the, make sure you put them back after you're done. This one is definitely a sow bug. Here is a really cool and interesting insect. Unfortunately, they are mistaken pretty often as oversized mosquitoes. This is not a mosquito, folks. This is a crane fly. Now, crane flies, like many insects, begin in the water. They are aquatic initially. And then they go through a change called metamorphosis and they end up in the air with wings. What I wanna make sure that you understand is they cannot hurt you. They don't sting, bite, or hurt in any way. And if you notice the next one in my hand, they're just really beautiful, very gentle, and they're also found worldwide. This is a common white-tailed dragonfly. And as I mentioned earlier, well, it's a native, and as I mentioned, earlier its wings are up to the side and we definitely know it's a dragonfly and it really does have good hunting skills and 
They love to eat mosquitoes, yum. And they eat other, lots of other insects too. And their eyesight is really good. That's really how they spot their prey. You probably didn't know this about dragonflies, but they start in the water. And they also eat mosquito larvae. And as they get older, they grow wings and they come up on land and then they're soaring through the air. Hey, nature nerds. We have a really big surprise for you today. Um, since we're speaking about insects, we wanted to introduce you to a beautiful moth. We found this one perched on our front porch last night. We wanted to show it to you today. This is a polyphemus moth. It's one of the largest, and in my opinion, one of the most beautiful in the silk moth family. Come take a peek. Look how big that thing is. It's so beautiful. Now this is a native moth, and you can find them in the area, typically in wooded areas. Can you see the eye spots on the back? There we go. Now these moths get their name from Greek mythology. There was a giant cyclops named Polyphemus, and because of the eye spots on the back of the wings, they named the moth after that cyclops. Now the other cool part about those eye spots is that they help out with it as a defense mechanism. Um, they're there to confuse predators because predators would think of them as eyes. Also another defense mechanism is that they're coloring, so they kind of blend in with the environment and they camouflage. So keep your eyes peeled because who knows what you're going to find out there when you start looking around. Maybe you'll even find a big beautiful silk moth like the polyphemus. Hey nationers, just a thought. It's nice to have a container with you when you're out exploring. So this has a little slide open door which you see has like a little handle that you lift up and put the bugs in really gently because bugs are very fragile. And so it has a screen so that way the bugs can breathe. And this one, it has a little hole, it has a magnifying glass so you can look at your bug very, very closely and get a better look. And it has a like little um, container so that way it, the bug can crawl around. All right, I hope you have fun learning about bugs. All have a nature nerd inside of us. All we have to do to begin is get outside and learn about nature. We really hope you had a great day today learning about insects. There's so many cool insects out there and a lot of them are beneficial, which means they're really good for us. We're gonna challenge you to get outside and see what you can catch. Now, a couple things for you to remember. If you're not sure how to identify them, there's this really great app called Seek and you can download it on your phone for free. The other thing we want to let you know is whatever you catch, you should definitely let go when you're done checking them out and learning about them so they can go back and do their thing. So make sure you head out and go on an adventure. Oh, and make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more Nationers. See you next time. Bye. Bye.